Are you there? Oh, good, good. Glad you arrived safely. Well, welcome to Warriors Factory. Congrats on being hired. We're glad you wanted to take this job, because it wasn't easy to find someone capable of the job. Now, as the night guard, your job is simple. Check the security cameras and watch over the building to make sure nothing goes wrong. Like a robbery, a machine breaking down, or both. Sounds easy, right? Now, I should probably tell you about the backstory around the place. You see, the factory was recently reopened by the company. Yeah, it was closed for around seven years by now. We, we, aren't, we aren't exactly sure why this factory closed all those years back, but what we do know is this. Wario, the owner, was guarding the building himself one night, in the same office you're in, actually. But the thing is, is, um... <clears throat> you know what? Never mind. It's not important right now. Better to focus on what you need to know right now. Like I said earlier, your job for the most part is checking the security cameras. It's important you do so because, well, as you can see around you, we haven't done too much so far to modernize the place. It's important for us to make sure nothing breaks or collapses. There's also some security functions in your office, such as lights. You can turn them off and on to see if anything or anyone is outside the door to your left or the window to your right. But they do take a lot of power, so be careful with them. If it's necessary, you can also close off the left door or the right window. You only do this if you think some sort of danger is right outside your office. Use the equipment here sparingly, because the thing is, we don't have too much money yet, so to save on cash. The electrical power during the night is dependent on whatever energy is left over in the generators. So, if you use too much equipment at once, well, the building's power might shut off completely. Yeah. Anyway, that should be it. Your shift lasts until 6am, and someone will come and take over your spot. So good luck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Congrats on completing your first shift here. I'm sure nothing went wrong last night. Everything seemed to be in good condition when the staff arrived this morning. So good job! Now there's something I should have told you last night, but I kind of forgot. There's an open hallway right in front of you. Well, um, about that, we're, we're trying to convert the area to a third door slash light system for you to use. However, we made very little progress on it. There's only a light, and the light is, well, kind of broken. It takes a few clicks to turn on, and once it's on, it shorts out after a few seconds. Hmm. You could always use it if you think someone, un unwelcome, is standing in the hall. Perhaps the flickering bright light can scare them away. It sounds strange, but hey, it could work. At least it doesn't use a power nearly as fast as the working lights do. Oh, and one more thing. Take your time with the switch. If you rush to turn it on, you might accidentally shut it off again. And if a threat is in there, well, that won't be good. <laughs> Not much other than that. Anyway, good night. Keep up the great work. you would do great. Were you able to use the broken light I talked about yesterday? I, I sure hope so. Anyway, uh, I, need, I need to share something with you. The employees around here were, were having a discussion about what could have happened here seven years ago. <clears throat> According to them, um, it all happened on a Monday. Wario, he went to guard the factory at night, and, well, he, um, he never came out of the factory afterwards. 
they also stated that Wario's friends came to check on him after they heard strange noises, and the thing is, they n never came out of the factory either. Strange stuff, right? The employees want to check the factory's basement tomorrow to see if there's anything down there that might give us any clues. In the meantime, just in case you feel creeped out, there's something new in the cameras. A music function. Clicking on the button on the bottom left will play a song. Hey, I, I have an idea. If you, if you see something strange, why not play music in that room? That'll give him a good surprise. Just don't leave it on for too long, of course. The music system drains power, just like the doors and lights do. That should be it now. Good night. I'll uh, call you later, okay? like you've come so far. Anyways, <clears throat> listen up. Remember how I said the employees wanted to check the basement for anything? They were able to, and surprisingly there wasn't a whole lot down there. Just some random boxes and a, a storage unit somewhere down there, similar to the one upstairs on Cam 6. However, they, um, they found a paper for using something called a uh, a, uh, a Wario Man costume. Apparently it was a mascot costume used in various events promoting the factory, but uh, <clears throat> the thing is, uh, despite the paper saying it's supposed to be kept in a basement, the costume wasn't there. In fact, we don't know where the costume went. Missing. Nowhere to be found. We've checked everywhere. <clears throat> you think somebody might have, y you know, used it? It doesn't matter now. Just keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe. safe? Are you hearing this? L listen to me. <coughs> this, this place might have, have to close. This is not a joke. S something horrific happened today. Um, okay, so um, an employee needed to grab something out of the storage unit and uh, he, um, he, he saw him... Uh, um, oh, uh, he, he saw Wario, he saw but he wasn't alive. Uh, like the like he once was, you know. He, in, in fact, he was just standing. When when the employee walked a little closer, Wario apparently w went insane, tried to attack the poor guy. He he, he ran out and he, he told everyone in in, in a panic. Now, now <clears throat> did you see Wario anywhere? On any of the cameras? Just take a just take a break after after this. Got it. You've been a great help and all, but you know, the factory by itself is secure enough. We don't want to risk yourself for a job like this. Best of luck. Keep a close eye on everything tonight. Don't let anything slip through the cracks.
Richard? Richard, what, what, what the hell are you there? Richard, I, I thought you received my email. The factory's closed. You thought we had top-notch security, but we're not taking any risks anymore. The place is shut down. Didn't you hear my warning last night? Did you realize you, you, you might be playing with your life here? Remember how Wario attacked that young employee in the storage room? You could be next. Oh, oh no, this is, um, <coughs> this is not good. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. I, I'm, I'm walking down the street here. <coughs> I'll, um, I'll try to open the factory doors. Here's the factory. Uh, these doors are... <coughs> So it's unlocked pretty well, but let's see if I can. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
job arriving safely. The weather's not too nice tonight. Anyways, welcome to WarioWare Incorporated, the number one place in micro games production. As you can see, we've still got some work to do with renovation, but I think it'll be great once it's finished. I'll say this, Taylor. I think you'll do great here. You already had experience guarding some warehouse nearby, so this job should feel familiar. But, I want to tell you some things before you begin your job, alright? Now, this might just be me, but I want to make sure you're really safe here. Some employees claim to have seen unusual shadows around the place, or something like that. And to be honest, I believe them. I used to work at the old Wario's building, the old factory. What I saw there was quite frightening. So, I've given you access to security cameras to monitor the rooms around the building, just like I used to myself. There's also another thing you might want to keep an eye on. The power. You see, the power around here is... well, messed up to say the least. The power around here really doesn't last long during the night. There's a temporary solution, though. In the back room, there's a generator filled with energy left over from the day. You can use this generator to transfer power from the generator to the building. Of course, we don't have infinite energy, so be careful how much energy you transfer at a time, alright? But think about it. Even if the power goes out, there's an intense thunderstorm going out right now, right? That's free light for you right there. I take advantage of it. You might be able to catch someone looking in the darkness that way. Now, if anyone should enter your office through that open hallway, hide in the back room immediately. And don't touch the generator. Transferring power makes a lot of noise, so... Let's just say it wouldn't be good. Just remember to stay safe, and... Don't be too afraid of the dark tonight, alright? The best advice I can give is to stay focused. It'll get you far. Good night, and I wish you good luck. Hey, great job last night. Everything seemed to be secure, so keep up the great work. Now, did you see anything last night? Well, I hope not at least. I certainly did. Anyways, more information I need to share with you. You might have noticed that this building looks like a mixed bag of abandoned and modern. Well, like I said last night, <laughs> we're still working on it. Some rooms like the studio need to be rebuilt after. Well, actually, I don't know if you know this, but this building caught on fire years ago. We don't know what or who caused it. We're focusing on getting this place set up again. Second of all, there's these red buttons in four of the rooms. Don't touch them. And don't let anyone else touch them. They used to do something relating to power. I'm not sure. What you need to know is they don't work anymore and might mess up your power. You might not need to worry about it tonight, though. I doubt anyone would bother with them, unless they're an, an inspector or something. First thing, this hideout area. Camera tail your security cams, I believe. Keep an eye on that tonight, alright? To be honest, I kind of scared to go in there. It always gave me this uneasy vibe. As if something's in there. If I've learned anything from my previous experiences, that means I would definitely check on that as often as I can. Either that, or <laughs> I might just be crazy after my factory experiences. Anyways, remember to hide if anyone enters like I told you, and perhaps hide in the back if you get the feeling someone's left the hideout. Nah, never mind, that's just me. Do whatever you think will keep you safe. Good night. you'll do great. Welcome back, welcome back. In 
enjoying the job so far? Well, I hope you are. Now, listen to this. Someone was able to find out who burnt down this building in the first place. So as crazy as this sounds, apparently Bowser attacked this building. You know, the dragon turtle thing. Insane, isn't it? Thankfully, no human got hurt. In fact, the only one who was killed was Bowser himself. He must have been incredibly clumsy, dying in the fire he set himself. He was buried shortly after by unknown individuals, and it turns out he was buried under what is now your office. Pretty awesome stuff. Or disturbing, depending on how you want to look at it. <laughs> of course, after this building burnt down, Wario decided to focus on the factory, but ugh, I don't want to talk about that place. Now, keep doing you. Just hang in there. Remember to check those cams. Pop the hide on, like I mentioned. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh, you're right on time again. That's what I like to see. You're probably the best employee we've ever had. Now, remember the buttons? Remember how an inspector would only care? Funny thing is, <laughs> there might be one soon. Better tell them not to press them, right? Things shouldn't go bad. Or if you really want to try something different. The staff set up this little interface. You can disable the left right, top, and bottom button from working. But oh, there's always a catch, isn't there? You can only have one button disabled at a time. Be careful with that. Watch those four cameras with the buttons closely. Now then, have you been keeping that building power from cutting out? Sure you have. I just said you were the best employee. Nothing but great work. That's it for tonight. Bye. Back again, are we? Of course, we wouldn't want you to skip work and be fired, right? That's common knowledge. I've been watching you, and it'd be a shame to not have you work here. You do so well. Now, we've got a new toy for you to play with tonight. This frequency button next to the open hall. Apparently the staff were concerned about the possibility of ghosts haunting the building during your shift. Since more research has been done over the years about ghosts, this frequency should scare off certain types close to you. Bet you should check that left hallway more, right? This is what I think. Would you really need to use it? I think you're too good at your job for that. <laughs> Just keep doing your usual. And after your shift, you've got the weekend. Bet you're excited for that, hmm. I'm sure you are. Who doesn't like the weekend? A break from all troubles at work. Do the same as before. Mess around as you usually do. But press that button if you really want to. Bye.
I apologize, Thomas. I know it's a big hassle to have you work over the weekend, but... Oh, you had no choice! We did great work today, and we have to make sure nobody messes it up. So that's why we need you. Now, since you're here, let's have some fun, shall we? Work is boring. We must play a game. This one's a favorite of mine, and I like to call it No Pain, No Game. It's common knowledge that you need to work hard to be rewarded in life. Am I wrong? You've still got a long way to go, Taylor. Of course, what's the fun in a game when someone tries to cheat? In this game, you are forbidden to leave this place. Of course you can't. That's why I made sure to lock the doors so you don't even bother. Want to escape through the window? Just whenever our fat little friend from the hideout will get you. This is going to be fun, isn't it? You want to know something? I had to play this game too, back in the factory. I can say it's an experience you won't forget. What are we waiting for? Get your cameras ready. Three, two, one, go. trap and there's no way out for you. What do you think the staff will do? Unlock the doors? <laughs> Almost everyone stopped working here. They lost confidence. You're ours now. You know exactly what you did. Your pathetic lie of a security guard trying to cover up what you did to us all those years ago. We won't stop searching. We won't stop hunting. We failed at our little revenge game in the factory. And this is round two. We're coming for you. And you won't get away this time. Let us begin the grand finale. Ready, set, go! Okay. 
Seriously, seriously, I have no clue what's going on here. <laughs> oh my god, they were right! It was! Hello? Ah, you. Perfect. Uh, hey, if anyone gets this message, uh, my name is Richard McCroy, and I've got a job request to your team. You see, uh, our family's on vacation, right? So, I'm afraid we need someone to watch over our house for uh, about a week, I'd say. That's why I called you guys, of course. I heard your queue was pretty good at keeping buildings secure, so it would be greatly appreciated if you were to watch over our house. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong, you know? Well, that should be it. Just don't break anything or make the house a mess and make sure no one does the same. <laughs> Thank you in advance. End message. Hello? You there? Oh, thank goodness. You had me really worried. Why? Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Max Peterson, and I've been at Safe and Security for a few years by now. But that's not important. Listen up. Because whatever you do, you need to get out of there. I know you were told to watch the house over the week because the family went on vacation. But whoever told that to you, I'm sure they were trying to make you fall for a ruse. Listen. There's been reports of that house being very haunted. And despite what that man said, nobody's been living there for years. Alright, listen carefully. Don't try to find the exit now. Wait until the morning. Whatever ghosts are haunting that house could probably try to mess with your head. They could even make you go crazy. Heck, if it's bad over there, you could see the exit as another room or interpret the layout of the house completely different. Thank heavens for the camera you installed around the house. Use them wisely. That pad can only view cameras for a limited amount of time at once. Watch the power meter so you don't have to charge it all up if it dies out. For tonight, just stay where you are for the night. Also, please don't try to move around the house. That could be very, very dangerous. I could come over to the house if I wanted to, but... But what might happen might be worse than moving around during the night. Listen, man, just use those cameras and stay safe in there. You should be at the grand entrance of the house, yeah? All right, now listen up. This is what you need to know. Ghosts will try to hunt you down by wandering around the building, and if they attack you inside there, uh, it won't end well. I remember our crew investigated that house a few years ago. If I remember correctly, there should be a door to your left and one to your right. If a ghost should enter your room through the left, quickly look away to the right of the room. Don't use your camera. Just wait until they're gone. You don't want to make eye contact with certain ghosts in certain areas, understand? Then there's the right door behind the staircase. If someone should enter through that door, I would pull the camera up fast. They can see your face more clearly, no matter where you look. Alright, just stay safe in there, stay focused, and try to find the exit when the sun rises, yeah? Alright. Oh, this is very important. If you still haven't found the exit by tomorrow night, do not hide in that entrance for two nights in a row. Or any room two nights in a row for that matter. Choose a different room to hide in tomorrow night or else things could go very wrong. Alright, watch those cams and be careful man.
Good night. Good, good. You're still in that old house tonight, huh? Well, do you remember what I said about choosing a different room? Ah, perfect. Which room did you hide in? The bathroom, I see. That's a good spot. But notice how that room is pretty small. Alright, listen up now. I think you're going to have to use the bathroom sink in there to your advantage. The bathroom door is left swinging open for whatever reason, so there's two ways you'll be able to spot the next to you. Either you'll see a shadow of a ghost projected on the window, or you'll see their reflection in the mirror on the right. Alright, listen carefully now. If you see a shadow on the window, use the hot water. However, if you instead see a ghost reflection in the mirror, use cold water instead. And if anyone's in that bathroom with you, don't stop running the water until they are gone, got it? Listen, just stay alert, check those security cameras until the sun rises. That should be it really, so... Good, good night. Be careful. Hello, Edward? Oh, it's you. Good job surviving the night yesterday. I was so worried about you, but you survived. So good job. Alright, did you hide in a different room like I told you to last night? You have, great. So which room? The kitchen, huh? Not bad. However, as you have probably noticed, the lighting in there is fairly bright. So if anyone enters that room, they might notice you pretty quickly. Listen. Tonight you'll have to react fast. If I recall correctly, there's an old-fashioned furnace somewhere in there. While we were investigating the house, someone turned on that oven and smoke just filled the room. The fuel in the oven ran out before anyone could be in serious danger from the smoke, though. Hmm. That's what I want you to use tonight. Sure, the room may be large and well-lit, but if you let smoke fill the room, it should blind and confuse any ghosts that walk in. You will have to be careful about how much fuel the oven has. However, there should be some spare lumps of coal lying around. Use those coals wisely. Don't waste them. Anyways, keep watching those security cameras and stay safe. Good night. Hi there, you okay? Oh great, great. Listen to this. I just found out something crazy today. I was able to find the names of the previous owners of that house. Apparently the people who used to live there were the McRoy family. Specifically one child and Mr. and Mrs. McRoy. Hmm. Can't say I ever heard of them. Uh, anyways, you're in the small bedroom tonight, huh? Well... That's both good and bad. While our crew was searching around the house, one of our employees found this handy little gadget that allows the pad to flicker the lights in any room in the house. Use this mechanism to your advantage. Plug the cord into the pad. Oh, you already did. Great. To flicker the lights, you can't just press the button once. You have to repeatedly tap the button over and over. 
if you flicker the lights in a room a ghost is in, they will for sure be scared away. But if they enter the bedroom, you've got nothing to do and wait, wait, wait. I got it. The alarm clock. Yes, there's a freaking loud alarm clock in that room. And if the clock strikes when a ghost is in your room, the loud, annoying noise will drive them away. All right then. Uh, hey, just curious. Did you inhale any smoke from last night? Oh. Oh dear. You know that probably wasn't the best idea, right? Well, if the smoke from last night starts messing with your head and you see something crazy in front of you, just remember eye contact, man. Pull up the camera and pretend you don't see anything. Be very careful. Hello, hello? Hey, you still there? Alright. Well, remember what I said. For your safety, don't try to wander and escape the house during the night, yeah? So, you're in the family parlor tonight, huh? Well, that shouldn't be a problem then. You've got the lamp flickering and... the uh, What? Come again? You'd say the lamp isn't on. Oh dear. Well, I don't exactly know why that's the case, but you're in luck. Similar to your camera system, that lamp also runs on battery power, but be careful. That lamp can recharge on its own, but if you let the battery drain completely, there's no hope in making it work again. Alright, listen up. There's a door behind the couch that leads to the entryway, and a big door on the left that leads into the kitchen and pantry area. Tonight you're going to have to use your cameras well. Ghosts tend to be pretty sneaky in dark areas, so if anyone were to enter the room through the door on the right, they would probably try to hide behind the couch. This is where I would use the lamp. If you think there's a ghost behind the couch and you leave the lamp on for a few seconds, it should drive the ghost away from the room, got it? But then there's the double door on the left. Ugh. If anyone comes from there, I'd say if you see a ghost on camera in the kitchen and pantry area, or any rooms near it, stare at them on the camera until they leave. Smaller ghosts often get shy when they are watched. Be careful tonight, man. Hey, hey, hey there, you good man? I tell you what, our company's been pretty busy today. Had a lot of requests for our employees to handle. Makes me happy we have people like you around, right? Anyways, what's the house like over there? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're saying the power cut out. That's not good. Alright, alright, look. Where are you tonight? Ooh, the old study. Yes, good choice. On that desk is an old lantern that runs on lamp oil. Other than that, there isn't really much to protect yourself with, so I want you to use that lamp as your form of defense tonight. Uh, keep in mind that the lamp won't exactly last forever. The amount of light it gives off will become smaller and smaller. Only use it if you think someone is for sure in your room. If someone is standing in there with you to the left or right, just shine the light on their face for a few seconds, and they should go away. Because of the blackout, I don't think you'll be able to see the rooms all too well, but hey, that pad has the ability to detect audio. You'll be able to hear ghosts if the rooms are cut black. But since you're currently in a blackout, I doubt you'd be able to charge your pad back up, right? Oh well, just be careful on how much you use it, because if your pad runs out of energy, you won't know where the ghosts are, but since there's a thunderstorm tonight, that might be helpful. Oh, by the way. Check out what I found lying on the ground. 
There seems to be an old formula for a special type of hamburger. A place called Oreos. You don't see stuff like this every day, huh? Well, anyways, good night. Hello, is anyone there? Ah, yes, it's you. How you been? You're still trying to escape that old place, are you? Before you ask, I'm sorry, but I can't come over to that house. It'll simply make things go terribly wrong. Now, where are you tonight? What? The, the dining room? Bonkers. Uh, that's not a really good choice, man. I mean, the room is pretty big and there's a whopping Four ways to enter the room. Oh. But, since the room is so large, sound should echo across the room. Hang on, I've got an idea. If someone were to emerge from the darkness over on the right, try spamming the pad up and down, up and down. The echo the pad makes should eventually drive the ghost away. They probably wouldn't even notice you at first being covered in darkness and all. But I'd start to spam as quickly as possible. As for that left door, um... Oh! The closet! To your left, there's a big closet you can hide in. But whatever you do, if you believe a ghost went inside the room from the room on the left, the, uh, the kitchen, I should say, rush inside the closet as fast as you can. And while you're in there, don't move. Leave the closet open a peek so you can see them run by and shut the door behind them. Just stay perfectly still. But hey, want to hear something interesting? There's been people reporting a strange pink figure wandering around town. Weird, isn't it? I assume it's just crazy people, man. There hasn't been any photo or video evidence of any kind. Interesting how things have been popping up the same day you went to. Oh, uh, anyways, have a good night. I'm trying to find the exit, Mr. Coleman. Are you not? <laughs> you know, we've been watching you, but I'm sure you've already noticed. But you know, you look just like him. Heck, you probably are him. You probably are the one. The one. The one! You know exactly what you did, and you're never getting away with it. We'll be following you. Until you pay for what you've done all those years ago. <laughs> Man, it's midnight already. Sorry about not calling earlier. There was a weird disturbance with the phone lines and everything. But oh my goodness, you're still there. I have to admit, you're doing really well for the situation you're in. Anyways, you're in the laundry room tonight, you say. Well, that room is pretty well lit. Huh. I know. Try turning on the machines in the room. There's a washer on the left and a dryer on the right. Uh, those that come in from the kitchen would probably be disturbed by the high-pitched dryer sound. And nearby ghosts coming in from the bathroom would probably be afraid of the lower-pitched washer sound. However, be extremely cautious. There's a fuse box on the left of the room. And since the place hasn't exactly been rewired and everything, with better electricity, 
the washer and dryer will probably drain a ton of power. Thankfully, you can recharge it. Thankfully, you can recharge it. Just open up the fuse box and hold the button. But listen, the sound the fuse box makes is pretty loud. So I would charge it in short increments, not all at once. And even then, you have to check the right door often or else one might sneak in while you're charging the electricity. Alright, stay safe and I hope you finally find the exit in the morning. <laughs> Hello there! Having a great time in that house, huh? You know, I never realized how much you look like... him. The one? You two would just look so unlike. That can only mean one thing. You. You are the one! It's you, it's you! <laughs> we know what you did to us, back in that factory. But now, as you're trapped and hopeless, it's our turn. <laughs> hey, you there, man? Whew, thank God. I feel bad for you, man, being trapped in that house and everything. Anyways, what about tonight? Where are you this time? The... Pantry, huh? Well, ooh, that's a very bad spot, man. I mean, seriously, a pantry? Well, what have you got for defense in there? Alright, for this night, try using what you know from your first night tonight. If you see a ghost on either side of the room, look to the opposite side of the room until they go away. Got it? But that might only work for a certain ghost. Uh, oh. There's a device in there that adds audio functionalities to the two rooms that connect to it. The kitchen and the family parlor. To make the noise play, you have to charge up the audio on your pad until it reaches full capacity, alright? If a ghost is in either of those two rooms and you charge the audio up completely, they will for sure be scared away. Also, keep an eye on that camera power, got it? That could be your worst enemy on this night. So. Just do what you can in there, and I'll give you a call if you're still there tomorrow. Good night. Sweet little revenge. <laughs> There's no exits. Don't even bother. Just stay in there and let us find you ourselves. <laughs> hi, uh, hi there. Very sorry for the late phone call. There was a weird interruption with the phone lines or something. Wonder who would be crazy enough to do that. Oh, speaking of crazy. Did you hear a crazy man running around yelling gibberish? Stuff like, we will hunt you down, and now it is our turn. You think he's acting for a movie? Well, anyway, you're in the second bathroom, huh? Well, uh, oh, that's right. There's a panel on the wall that controls this four-way intersection that leads to various different rooms. With that panel, you can change the walls, basically, and block certain rooms from connecting to that bathroom. 
However, for safety reasons, you can't lock off your door. Only rooms around it. I'm sure that would be fine though. I mean, you have the cameras and... What was that? The cameras are acting funny. Oh dear, why is that? Oh, whatever. Remember what I said about not moving? Just stay in there and deal with the crappy cameras. Just look really closely and you'll see them. Alright, good night, man. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Look who hasn't found their way out. I told you to ask how well you're doing. You're doing fantastic! I can already tell. <laughs> so, let me ask. Are you the one? The one that did what they did to us? That's what we're hoping for. That's what we know. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. We're going to hunt you down faster than ever before. Get ready! <laughs> hey, how you been? You're still there, aren't you? Wow, I can't believe it. You must feel like a security guard or something. Anyways, apologies for the late call. There's been tons of crazy activity going around and everything. Police have been going crazy over a man named Richard. Huh. Anyways, let's focus on the house. Where are you tonight? The game room, huh? Alrighty then. Ooh, that's a fun one. When we were in the house a few years ago, someone found out you can throw pool balls into this special machine. It would read the number ball you threw in and make noise accordingly. Pretty neat, right? You know the drill by now. That's your defense tonight. If someone were to enter your room, open the cabinet, select a numbered pool ball, and throw one in. The noise it makes should not only make ghosts go away from that room, but also delay them for a while depending on what number you chose. Neat, huh? However, I should warn you, certain ghosts will probably be lured by that noise. And if they were to enter your room, just flip the pad up and down again. Got it? Oh yeah, I should probably tell you this. We weren't sure why, but the 8-ball emits this really weird sound when you throw it in. But hey, that could be good. It can make the ghost maybe forget where you are if you get what I mean. You got all that, man? Good. Have a safe night. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, you weren't expected to be in a situation like this now, were you? <laughs> oh, how far you've come! You better not slip up like you did by entering this house. Oh, don't worry. You're only in the most open and vulnerable place in the entire house. We've been watching you. You know that, right? And let me ask you this. Could you perhaps be... the one? The one that caused us so much pain? <laughs> you just made our job a whole lot easier. Hunting you down inside a place like this will be a piece of cake. Let us find out. Now. Wowee. You've been there for a while now. Sorry about the late call, phone line's been acting funny lately, and concentrating on work isn't easy with the police cars active and such. Anyway, tell me where you are tonight. What? what's that? 
<laughs> the hallway. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Which room did you really hide in? <laughs> you hid in the hallway, didn't you? Oh, no. What were you thinking, man? The hallway is so large and open. There's nearly seven ways to get in there. All right, wait. Hear me very carefully. Oh, there should be a coat rack in there, correct? Oh, thank God. Now, the main form of defense in there will be disguise. If you see a ghost near you or somewhere around you, wear the color coat that matches their own clothes and look away. For example, if someone wearing green clothes were to enter the hallway, put on a green coat and look away from them until they are gone. Got it? They can also sneak behind from the laundry room. If that's the case, just wear the colored coat and shake left to right. Maybe shaking your head like that will make the ghost afraid of you? But then there's the very front of the hall, oh dear. Well, there are two rooms that connect to the front of there, so if you see a ghost in either of those two rooms, the game room and old bedroom I believe, stare at them on the camera until they go away, got it? Good. Stay safe and do the best you can in there. noise as we can to wake it up. After all, you probably are the one. If you truly are, then let's have that little revenge, huh? <laughs> I must say, your work has been very impressive. But don't worry, we'll end your turn very shortly. <laughs> Whoa, sorry about that late call, man. Had some crazy paperwork to finish, you know, man? Whew, now where are you at tonight? Well, wait a minute. Did you just say a ghost is in the room with you? Sleeping. Oh, man. Well, tonight you're going to have to do everything very quietly. Do not wake the ghost up in there, whatever you do. So I imagine you're in the parents' bedroom, right? Well then, if anyone were to come in through the door where you'll see them in the large mirror there, the only defense is, oh god, a loud static noise, oh no, this isn't good at all. Just listen up carefully now. You can turn on the noise by hitting the button in the room, but you have to search for the off button in the camera system tonight. Whatever camera the button is in changes every time you use it too, so you need to switch those cameras fast tonight and find that off button as fast as you can. Good night, man. Stay safe in there. Hey, you're still hanging around that place, huh? Well, I don't know, man. Just do your best. I'm sure your mind is starting to really mess with you now. 
Okay, well, where'd you hide now? Um, what? What did you say? The cellar. What do you mean? The house doesn't have a cellar, right? When we took a peek at the house, we had tons of staff come over to investigate it, and not one of them found any trace of a cellar. Have you gone insane or something? Hang on, listen up now. Uh, I know this is something I've been telling you not to do this whole time, but after a few hours have passed, move to another area in that basement. But for now, just remember the eye contact I mentioned, yeah? Oh, uh, weird. Someone's outside our building. Uh, see ya, just stay very careful. Alright, I just wanted to give another call. You in a different part of the basement in there? Alright, what's it like? Oh, a, a boiler in there. Well, well, like I said, man, I don't know what it's like down there. Just make that boiler scare them somehow. Listen, I'm in a really bad area myself. The crazy man on the news is at the company door. I, I might not be around for much longer. Ooh, who do we have here? You look so much like... Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? Let's find out! Oops! <laughs> Turns out he wasn't the one. But you... You... You must be him! You are the one! It's you! Let me come over myself! I'll make sure you pay back myself once and for all. <laughs> That's... that's impossible! It wasn't you either? You two look so alike! We... we... we will make him apologize! What he did, what we did, wasn't enough! We... we... We will keep searching for him forever!
did it. After so long, he... he apologized for what he did to us. I... I can feel it. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. He gave us forgiveness. It brought peace to both him and us. Our curse is finally gone. I feel... I feel... relieved! Hey! There he is! Fire! I... am... free...